everyone, James here back with another Luck Inside the Box review. This time it's the 172nd scale Armour Hobby FM2 Wildcat, and this is the, the expert set where you get the added extras of masks and photo etch brass. It's on the front, nice image of the Wildcat surrounded by a flak burst. The expert set the Alma Hobby logo. Uh, the contents of the kit, and again the pitch of the Wildcat on both sides with the name. This side is some. Addresses and websites. On the back is your deco options and paint schemes. And there's one British scheme there. box up you get one bag containing all the parts you get the clear parts the photo etch and the masks in the same bag. Instructions with decals and two plastic sprues. And so as usual we'll start off with the plastic. This is the first sheet with the top and lower wings the fuselage halves, the prop, some engine parts, the cowling, look at the details, very nice. It is a uh, Recess panel lines, very nice detail, same as the wings. Also has some rivet detail here on some panels. Still a lot of wings. A little bit of cop interior detail. So that's the first sprue. And the second and last is your mainly the cockpit, you have your auxiliary fuel tanks, two wheel options and then the rear control surfaces, also I think that's the landing gear bulkhead. the plastic and moving on to the clear parts. 
very nice. There isn't any marks or splits on the fit into plastic. Crystal clear, it's very nice. The uh, framework is raised so you could mask your own, but we have masks with this set, so it'd be a lot easier to mask them. Just clear parts. Then the photo etch, there's the masks that have been pre cut. You also get the wheel masks as well, just that. Some engine detail, the seat belts, the instrument panel, surround, and then some gearing and belts. I'm guessing for the landing gear. Moving on to the decals. As I mentioned on the box, you get several options. They are glossy, they're not thick, quite thin, good register. Colours are great. If you wanted to, you could add that to the photo etch or paint the photo etch yourself. We'd we'll probably do this option. Just the decals. So on the front. There is, in several languages, warning uh, just to, before you start building the kit to read the instructions carefully. Then, in two languages, English and uh, another language, a brief history of the aircraft. You have your Sprue map, uh, you've got the decals, the masks, and the photo etch as well. Uh, suggested paints, you have your usual uh, manufacturers, and then your masking guide for the canopy and then the wheels. As usual, uh, you start off with the cockpit, and, and usually there isn't any um, step numbers, so you're just following the following the sections boxed. So you start off building the cockpit, adding the bulkheads, the seat, and then adding photo etch to the instrument panels. And then moving on, once the main cockpit's together, you add the side details. Over the page, you're adding the, the cockpit to the fuselage, building the the main landing gear, adding the landing gear bulkhead, and then the, here's the the chains or belts and the pulleys for the landing gear. As I believe it's a, a hand 
wind up landing gear. So you have to, as you're, you've taken off, you have to wind the landing gear up yourself. And below that is the the engine, adding the the photo etch part to the front of the engine, the bulkhead and cowlings. And the page again, you're adding and assembling the rear control surfaces, adding the top and lower halves, then gluing them to the fuselage. Below that is the assembly of the landing gear, and below that again, there's more assembly of the landing gear. Over the page again, you're attaching the landing gear to the, the aircraft itself and then adding whichever option you choose of the wheels and below here is the correct position uh, you should have the landing gear and over the page two options for six rockets or two auxiliary fuel tanks Below that, you're adding whichever option you go for, or you could have the two options together. And then, lastly, adding the canopy, the aerial, and the the weapon sight there also. And then to the right of that, you're adding the aerial as well so far the detail is quite nice uh, the photo etch parts is really good as well to enhance the the detail of the aircraft and moving on to your decal options this first one is the the common or the main decal placement then over the page the second option so 44 scheme over the page it's 30th May 1944 And that is the grey tones and the white tones for that one in the Pacific as well, I guess. So it's the North Atlantic, this one. Another North Atlantic, and this is another Pacific where it's just an all blue scheme. And then the, the last scheme is a British one that is around Norway March the 26th 1945 so that is the look inside the box of the 172nd scale Armour Hobby FM2 Wildcat that's the expert set thanks for watching